Taronga's Reef Recovery Program is using cryopreservation and biobanking to secure genetics from corals on the Great Barrier Reef. And the Taronga Cryodiversity Bank is actually the largest collection of living cryopreserved coral samples in the world. We've just come out of our busiest time of the year actually, which is coral spawning, um, which was in November and December. Uh, so in November, we were up at Konomi, or North Keppel Island, uh, working with the Wapaburra traditional owners and our collaborators at the Australian Institute of Marine Science. And while we were there, we were able to bank uh, samples from 24 new corals. Uh, but we were also really able to engage with the traditional owners and talk to them about cryopreservation and biobanking, but also about ensuring the cultural safety of those samples when they come off sea country and down here to the Taronga Cryodiversity Bank on Camaragal land. Uh, so in December, we we're up at the Australian Institute of Marine Science with our collaborators from the Smithsonian Institution. And so we were using a new cryotechnology developed by our collaborators at the University of Minnesota. And that cryo mesh technology allows us to cryopreserve coral larvae. And so we use that technology to cryopreserve larvae from the mushroom coral. And we've actually got some of those larvae right here in the cryodiversity bank now. So the main thing we'll be doing over the next six months is analysing the data that we collected during the last spawning trips and then writing that up so we can get it out for publication. Uh, and so we'll be doing some more work with our collaborators from the US to progress that larval freezing work and hopefully that technology will be available then for us to use during spawning later this year so that we can bank more coral larvae from the Great Barrier Reef. So right now there's as much genetic diversity out on the reef as there will be in our lifetime because every time there's a bleaching event we're losing coral and so the support of our partners like City Australia is really important because it allows us to preserve some of the genetic diversity that's available now while those diverse populations still exist.